Hey, it's Tax Quips time from TaxMama.com. Today, Tax Mama wants to talk to you about some of the common questions you raised in the Tax Mama Tax Forum lately. Well, my friends, tax season has always been a frustrating time for taxpayers, and these last two seasons were the worst. Aside from confusing law changes that took effect as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, the pandemic also forced IRS staff to abandon workstations and work from home. I don't need to quote you the statistics to show you what a tough time you had dealing with IRS errors because paper file checks and documents haven't been posted, long waits on phone lines, and so forth. We've already beaten that to death. So let's look at some of your questions recently that might help other people in your situation. Question number one, office and home. If total square footage of a home is 1,000 square feet and office space inside the home is 100 square feet, does it make a difference if Form 8829 is used versus deducting 10% of expenses like rent, electric, Wi-Fi, etc. on a Schedule C? Also, when does using the simplified method come into play on Form 8829? Does a simplified method even make a difference if a business operated at a loss? Here is the answer, and it's edited for brevity. There's a lot more to this on the website. So the short answer is yes, it does make a difference. If you want to deduct office and home expenses, quote, like rent, electric, Wi-Fi, etc. on a Schedule C, if you deduct them directly, you are apt to generate that non-deductible business loss you are asking about, and that would not be permissible. You have to use the Form 8829. Question number two is about Series I bonds, and I particularly want you to know about these because they are showing or paying a 7.12% interest rate until the end of this month. So the question is, I need some advice on tax reporting if I purchase an I bond, say $10,000 from Treasury Direct for an S corporation in 2022. I believe buying an I-bond is a good idea for the business. So, the questions are, A, how to report the principal amount of $10,000 while filing taxes next year, and B, I would not like to invest from current year earnings. I would rather use the leftover money from past years. Is there any catch or things I need to consider? And the answer is, if you buy the I-bond in the S-Corporation, here's what happens. Your transaction will be recorded on your books as follows. $10,000 debit, an asset, which you would probably call an I-bond. $10,000 credit cash, because you took the money out of the bank account. That's it. It doesn't affect income, it doesn't change your bottom line, it doesn't affect profits or losses, and it doesn't affect your basis since the asset remains in the S Corporation. Question number three is about too much withholding. Very, very common occurrence, or the opposite, too little withholding. So this question is, my employer withheld basically my entire check. I requested an additional annual quantity to be taken out of my check, but they took it out of the whole thing. And now they say I have to wait until next year when I file to get it back. Can't I just withhold less or file exempt until I get back the overpayment? It's almost 50% of my entire taxes for the current year. And this one is answered by T. Earls, who's been a huge help. And he says, if you indicated a dollar amount on your Form W-4 in the extra withholdings box, that is the extra amount that it's going to come out of your paycheck each pay period. See the description for Step 4C on the W-4 form, and he provided the link to the W-4. But yes, you absolutely can file a new Form W-4 with your employer to lower the withholdings for the rest of the year. Just do the calculations to figure out 
what the total amount should be for the year, subtract what has already been held, and then divide the remaining across the rest of the pay periods so you end the year with the total desired amount withheld. There are many, many more questions in the Tax Mama forum. Drop by and read them or ask your own. And in the meantime, remember, you can find answers to all kinds of questions about taxes and business issues and EA education for free. Where? Where else? At taxmama.com.